This is the new Ghost 6 3D printer by Flank Bear. Today I am going to unbox this 3D printer, assemble it, print a few objects and share my thoughts on this with you. So let's get started. Hey before we get started I would like to let you know that this is not a sponsored video. The company has sent me a unit for review without any instructions from their side. All the information and opinions shared is completely mine. The Flying Bear Ghost 6 is available for sale on the Flying Bear website and on AliExpress for about 300 US dollars. Once you order it, you will receive this huge box with the machine carefully packed inside. The printer comes almost intact with little assembly involved. Simply remove the top cover, pull the machine straight out of the box and remove the plastic cover. The machine has a metal enclosed body with protective packaging and spares inside. The assembly is simple and should take less than an hour. The build quality seems pretty good with the case made of metal and the plastic parts quality also seem good. This is a core XY design. The X and Y axis are fixed on top and the bed is placed on the Z axis. Along with the top canopy and front acrylic cover, there are a lot of accessories provided in the box. You get a small spool of PLA, a power cord, pack of tools which include wire stripper and a print remover spatula, a spare extruder set, some more tools, a USB cable and parts required for assembly. The assembly instructions are very clear in the manual and in case if you received a manual in Russian language like I did, here is a link to the English version. The assembly is simple and involves a 5 step process. Step 1. Remove the cable ties from the bed and attach the front acrylic panel using the screws provided. Also attach the front panel knob with the magnet. Step 2. Install the extruder motor and secure the wire with cable ties. Step 3. Install the mount for filament sensor and attach its wire coming from inside the case. Step 4. Attach the filament spool holder. Step 5. Attach the PTFE tube. And your machine is assembled and ready for first use. Now simply plug in the AC adapter and power on the machine. You will hear a beep sound when the machine boots. It has a 3.5 inch touchscreen display with easily navigable menus. Before we print anything, we need to make sure that the bed is level. Now there is no auto bed leveling feature here, so you have to use the good old paper calibration method. Simply use the sheet of paper which came along with the printer and turn the knobs under the bed to calibrate the distance of each corner. There is also a Z height adjustment knob provided just below the Z axis end stop using which you can adjust the nozzle to bed distance. 
After leveling the bed, I found out that there is an option in the display menu to level the bed which moves the head to all the four corners so that you do not have to do it manually. Once the bed is level, we can preheat the extruder and nozzle for PLA. The heaters are pretty fast and took around just 2 minutes to heat for PLA. After heating the nozzle, we can now load the filament. Place the filament spool on the spool holder. Cut the end of the wire diagonally using the wire stripper provided. Insert the filament through the filament sensor into the bowden tube all the way up to the extruder gear. Once the filament reaches the extruder gear, there is an option to load the filament. Simply press the down arrow to load the filament. Press the stop button once you see the filament being extruded out of the nozzle. Now you can go to the SD card and run the file needed to print. There is a sample print file in the SD card provided which I printed using the small PLA spool included in the box. The print quality came out pretty well. I then printed a 3D Benchy using the same material and I was surprised with the print quality as it took less than an hour to print. I also printed a few more objects such as this articulating dragon. And some cool spiral vases. The printer is capable of printing many materials such as PLA, PETG, ABS, nylon, TPU etc. The Core XY design is capable of printing faster than a normal Cartesian 3D printer. You also get a top cover which works as a heat insulator and also protects the printer from wind and dust. Overall, this is a pretty decent machine for the price it is being offered. Now you may ask me whether is it worth buying this 3D printer. My answer is definitely yes and why I will let you know in the next video. Until then, thanks for watching.